In the world of photography, speed matters. But just like any other kind of race, there is always someone or something that gets the title of the fastest ever. Today's video is the story of the fastest lens ever made, a literal one-of-a-kind lens that is so mysterious, so bocalicious, and so expensive that we'll likely never get to see or touch one in our lifetime. And now, a little trivia for you. Do you know why a lens is known as a fast lens? It has nothing to do with how fast it can run or how fast it can drain your bank account balance. Lenses are called fast because the aperture is wider, allowing more light to hit the camera's sensor or film, and thus allowing you to shoot with faster shutter speeds. Those faster shutter speeds would then allow photographers to get sharper images, especially when objects might be moving in the frame, along with introducing greater possibilities for low light photography. If you're ever on a game show and get that question, now you know. In the 1960s, the fast lens craze was at its peak, with camera and lens makers trying to one-up each other to lay claim to the title of having the world's fastest lens. It was the Royal Rumble of lens design, and in 1961, Canon came out with a lens that was the Hulk Hogan of its time, the 50mm f0.95 lens. Dubbed by many as the dream lens, it was set to be four times faster than the human eye. This technical achievement, however, came with a really hefty price tag. With only around 20,000 lenses being produced, it was set to be selling for a whopping 57,000 yen, which was a lot of money for its time. Hey, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just realized as I was editing this video that I never actually mentioned how much 57,000 yen was actually worth in dollars. So went back, did some calculations to try to figure out exactly how much it was. And from my estimation, 57,000 yen was worth around $456 back in 1961. Now keep in mind, the household income back then, average 1948 income, $4,000. Average 1961 income, $6,000. So $456 when all you would make is like $5,700 in a year, it's quite a good chunk of change. And if you convert that into today's dollar, it works out to around $4,266, which I don't know about y'all, but $4,000 for a lens is pretty expensive. So if you guys are enjoying the video so far, leave a like and let's get back to it. Nowadays, used copies of this lens will still fetch several thousand dollars in just about any condition. It was at this time that a man named Herr Wolf Warren, who was the public relations officer at Zeiss Icon, he decided to do the unthinkable. He would create a lens that was even faster dubbed the Super Q Gigantar. Sporting a whopping f0.33 aperture, it redefined what a bocalicious lens could actually be. This lens was like the Marvel Universe Hulk versus Canon's Hulk Hogan. On paper, it looked like the battle was over, but the truth turned out to be one of the craziest stories that most people have never heard. This is where things get crazy, but to really understand the context of all of this, we have to go back to the beginning and look at how the industry evolved into creating these super fast lenses. 1839, the beginning. French artist and physicist Louis Daguerre invents the daguerreotype process, a revolutionary way to take photos. You see, up to this point in history, it could take several hours to take a photograph, while Daguerre's process cut those times down to only 20 to 30 minutes. That's a major advancement for its day, but those long exposure times while being totally fine for a landscape, it just wouldn't work well in a portrait situation. Around this same time, optician and instrument maker Charles Louis Chevalier created the first variable focus lens for photography. This would mark a major improvement in image quality overall, but with an aperture of f16, the camera still needed a lot of light to expose a photograph. I don't know about you, but I could barely stand still for a few minutes. Can you imagine having to stand still in the hot sun for as long as 30 minutes to take a single portrait? This is why the pioneers of lens optics developed that need for speed that the photographic community still idolizes to this very day, but for different reasons that we'll discuss another time. Shortly after, in 1840, a math professor named Joseph Petzval designed what would become the first wide aperture portrait lens in collaboration with Austrian entrepreneur and optician Peter Wilhelm Frederick von Voigtlander. 
Petzval's lens was designed as a 150 millimeter lens with an astounding f3.6 aperture. It's crazy to think that in just a short time, we went from taking up to 30 minutes to take a portrait, and we cut it down to just one or two minutes with this spectacular advancement in lens design. The need for speed, however, it didn't end there. 1953. A Japanese company named Zuno releases the world's fastest commercially available camera lens for its time, a 50mm f1.1 lens. Originally made for use by the Japanese Navy, the lens never had much of a chance to impact the mass market. Zuno ultimately ran into production and financial issues, but an even faster lens was on the horizon, ready to take its place. This brings us to the 1960s. Camera companies were aiming for larger and larger apertures in their lenses. It was a time that wasn't unlike our own, where companies are aiming to bring out cameras with more and more megapixels and better dynamic range. It was a period where photographers became fixated on the speed of lenses on paper rather than their overall performance in real world situations. Canon saw the opportunity to capitalize on this trend, and in August 1961, they began marketing the largest aperture lens in the world at that time, the 50mm f0.95 lens. The dream of the fastest lens became reality. A few years later, in 1966, Leica released their own 50mm f0.95 lens. These lenses became the envy of photographers due to their fast apertures as they opened up many creative possibilities. Fast forward to 1966. Photokina, one of the largest trade shows had just wrapped up their show. The public relations guru at Carl Zeiss Icon named Herr Wolf Warren that we talked about earlier, he sees the growing tide of fast lenses hitting the market and he decides to make a statement. He decides to poke fun and troll the entire photographic industry who are all chasing this vanity title of the world's fastest lens. He heads over to the lens department and with the help of a friend, they start digging through their shelves to piece together what would become the fastest lens ever made. Say hello to the Zeiss SuperQ Gigantar lens, sporting a 40 millimeter focal length and a stunning F0.33 aperture. I mean, wow. Check out that massive hunk of glass. This behemoth would be sure to turn heads when it hit the market, yet it wasn't meant to be. You see on paper, it was the fastest lens ever made, but in reality, the Super Q Gigantar lens was nothing but a public relations stunt, a complete joke. The whole idea of these types of lenses went against Zeiss's philosophy. They were all about creating lenses that could reproduce a quality image regardless of the maximum aperture. Zeiss created this lens in a bid to ridicule the industry's trend of creating these super fast lenses that produced low quality results. Zeiss decided to come up with the most ridiculous lens they could muster, creating a lens with an impossible aperture where surely nothing would appear to be in focus, if it could theoretically even work at all. If you check around the internet, you won't find any sample photographs captured with this lens because it was never really actually designed to work in real world situations. The 40 millimeter focal length and that F0.33 aperture value was picked totally at random. In fact, Zeiss even dropped a little hint just to show how fake the lens was. The Q in the name is short for the German word quatsch, which in English translates to rubbish or nonsense. And that's how the fastest lens ever made came to be, but this crazy story doesn't end here. Fast forward to 2011, and this lens went up for auction at the famous Westlick Photographica auction, where some of the biggest transactions in the camera world take place. Because of its prestigious title as the world's fastest lens ever made, it had an opening bid of 6,000 pounds and an estimated price of up to 16,000 pounds. This was a hefty price tag considering that the lens wasn't even functional. Due to the history and its dubious claim as the so-called fastest lens ever made, it ended up selling for a jaw-dropping 60,000 pounds, which is nearly $80,000. Not bad for a lens that was made from spare parts laying around Carl Zeiss headquarters. Now, I'm going to see what kind of spare parts I have laying around the studio, but before I do that, listen, this video took me several days to research and write, so if you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor, like this video and subscribe. That's it. Do that and you'll have 10 years of good luck. For a limited time though, you could get five additional years of good luck by watching the video that you see here on the screen. I'll see you there.